Hello, the people at IK Multimedia recently sent me Pianoverse, which is their new virtual piano. I plugged it into Pro Tools to have a play with it. It also sits as a standalone application as well. Pianoverse is a um, selection of pianos that they have sampled. It starts off with four different pianos, uh, the Concert Grand, a Royal Upright, New York Grand and the Black Diamond. Uh, and each version has variants uh, created from the uh, source recordings. So what I'm going to do is play a couple of pieces of mine and choose some different pianos and just show a couple of areas as to, to why I find this so enjoyable to use. One of the uh, most exciting things that I found about this is that I get sent a lot of things to play with. And this one genuinely made me want to sit down and write. And that is to me is always the, the biggest compliment I can give something. If I sit down and it encourages me to write and I start coming up with ideas, I know I've got something that I really like working with. And the minute I plug this in, within five, 10 minutes, I was coming up with new ideas that were just making me go, oh, great. And then I kept playing, and kept playing, and kept playing, kept coming up with more and more ideas. So it's really sort of encouraged me to write. And every time I sit down, I think, well, what shall I play? What shall I do? I immediately grab piano verse and start playing with it, which is fantastic. So uh, it's really enjoyable. So I'm going to start off here. We'll start off with um, the Concert Grand. We'll go up to the Concert Grand and we will choose a Vintage Classical. So I'm going to use this Vintage Classical to play a piece called A Mayfair Kiss, which is a piece I wrote uh, for the Ravens and Lullabies album that I recorded with Gordon Giltrap. It's my piano solo on the record and it has a nice run up and down the keys, uh, lots of low end and high end. It gives a nice separation between the tones. And this sound particularly works well for this uh, for this piece. So this is uh, a Mayfair kiss. Such a warm tone, really enjoyable to play. Just makes you want to just experiment uh, and it just drives the music forward. It's lovely to play. So we're going to swap and change to a different piano now. So we're going to go down to the, the Black Diamond. And there's a very nice um, piano in here, which is the Standard Classical. So we're going to load in the Standard Classical here. Uh, and this is a piece of music I wrote for my wife that was on the Ravens and Lullabies record. Again, with Gordon Giltrap. Um, but it has a lot of fast runs on it and then a lot of mid area work and you just see how quickly it responds to you. Okay, so we're going to move down now to the vintage New York jazz. So this is off the uh, New York Grand. So we're going to pop to this sound and we're going to change the sound to a theatre. I'm going to give it a bit of space here. So you can hear the sound. Okay, so it's got a nice bit of bounce back from the theatre. It makes it sound like we're in a bit more of a room. So if we give it a bit of a light jazzy sort of feel.
lovely feel to it there. And it also works as well if we give it a bit more of a movement with the sound as well, so we can get a Lovely. So we're going to go back to the standard piano. This is the first one that you'll come across. So we're going to go to the Concert Grand, and I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly at all. It's called a Bagatelle in the Hermitage. Uh, and it's a lovely sound. But the trouble is, you, everybody will start with the first piano. So I thought, well, it's, it's, it, we're not going to start the video with the first piano you find. But I must be honest, it's particularly nice to play. So you can just get this piano out and just start having a play with it. And it just does help inspire writing. So let's just pick a couple of chords here. We'll just play around something in C and just see what comes. But it's a particularly lovely piano sound to play with. Start mucking around some chords, starting to get some ideas coming through. It's just a beautiful sound, just a lovely sound to play. That gives you an example of some of the piano sounds that come from the new wonderful Pianoverse software from IK Multimedia. I've really enjoyed playing with it and experimenting and seeing what it can do. It's actually helped me start writing, um, makes me want to play it more and more. So if you have a moment, pop to their website where you can find all the details of the products available there. I'll do another one of these videos, probably picking out another piece or two and playing with some of the different piano sounds on it. Maybe go a bit more into the uh, spaces area as well. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. Click the old bell to get notifications when I pop some more videos up. And I'll see you soon.